The John Adams Building is the second oldest of the four buildings of the Library of Congress of the United States. It is named for John Adams, the second president, who signed the law creating the Library of Congress. The building is in the Capitol Hill District of Washington, D.C. next to the library's main building, the Thomas Jefferson Building. It opened to the public on January 3, 1939, and was long known as the Annex Building. The Annex was built in a restrained but very detailed Art Deco style and faced in white Georgia marble. It is located on 2nd Street SE between Independence Avenue and East Capitol Street in Washington, D.C. Topic History The idea to construct a new library building was presented to the United States Congress in 1928 at the urging of Librarian of Congress Herbert Putnam. The bill was sponsored by U.S. Representative Robert Luce, Chairman of the House Committee on the Library. On June 13, 1930, $6.5 million was appropriated for the building's construction, for a tunnel connecting it to the main building, and for changes in the east front of the main building, including the construction of a rare book room. An additional appropriation approved on June 6, 1935, brought the total authorization to $8,226,457. Architect of the Capitol David Lynn took charge of the project and commissioned the Washington, D.C. architectural firm of Pearson & Wilson to design the building, with Alexander Buell Trowbridge as consulting architect. The contract stipulated completion by June 24, 1938, but the building was not ready for occupancy until December 2, 1938. The move of the card division started on December 12, and it opened to the public in the new building on January 3, 1939. The building is five stories in height above ground, with the fifth story set back 35 feet 11 meters. It contains 180 miles 290 kilometers of shelving compared to 104 miles 167 kilometers in the Jefferson Building and can hold 10 million volumes. There are 12 tiers of stacks, extending from the cellar to the fourth floor. Each tier provides about 13 acres 53,000 square meters of shelf space. On April 13, 1976, in a ceremony at the Jefferson Memorial marking the birthday of Thomas Jefferson, President Gerald Ford signed into law the act to change the name of the Library of Congress building to the Library of Congress Thomas Jefferson Building. On June 13, 1980, the Adams Building acquired its present name, which honors John Adams, the former President of the United States who in 1800 approved the law establishing the Library of Congress. The building is faced in white Georgia marble and incorporated the use of new materials at the time such as acoustical block, formica, vitrolet, and glass tubing. <laughs> <laughs> Bronze entrance doors by Lee Laurie Commemorating the history of the written word, artist Lee Laurie sculpted figures into the bronze doors at the West 2nd Street and East 3rd Street entrances. The figures all deities or culture heroes associated with writing are Hermes, the messenger of the gods, Odin, a Norse, Germanic god and creator of the runic alphabet, Ogma, the Irish god who invented the Gaelic alphabet, Itzamna, a Mayan god of writing. Quetzalcoatl, the Aztec god of writing Sequoia, a Native American who defined Cherokee syllabary Thoth, the Egyptian god of knowledge, serving as the divine scribe Kangji, the legendary inventor of Chinese writing Nabu, an Akkadian god of writing Brahma, an Indian god Cadmus, the Greek sower of dragon's teeth, an importer of the Phoenician alphabet Tomarith, a Persian hero with south entrance doors not currently used facing Independence Avenue are reached by a stairway decorated with stylized owls and lamps. On the doors are a male figure representing physical labor and a female figure representing intellectual labor. Before it moved to newer quarters, this was the entrance for the United States Copyright Office, which is under the jurisdiction of the Librarian of Congress. See also James Madison Memorial Building Thomas Jefferson Building